All right. So uh, what I'm going to do real quick, this is going to be a, a very uh, short, power-packed segment, um, but about the GMTSS events, right? So, you know, there's three main components to our business. We're just talking about selling products, recruiting, and then also now, um, or I should say qualifying, prospecting, sponsoring, right? Um, but now um, in terms of selling tickets, right? So uh, how many people here maybe have not been to a GMTSS event so far? Okay, so a few people, cool. Um, so I'm gonna go into to this really quick and just some things to put on your radar. Um, the first thing is why you should attend events, right? Um, I think, you know, it's, it's one thing to hear, like, everyone always talking about, we have Steve Harris coming up, or all these other trainings, like, why should I go, why should I go, why, or, you know, it's not just go on blind faith, there's actually logical reasonings behind it, right? So, this is going to be a mix of things that you'll get from local seminars, as well as our big regional events, right? And I'm going to go through what we have lined up for quarter three, which is really awesome. So, the first thing is going to be to get you away from day-to-day -day distractions, right? How many people were in North Carolina? Show of hands. Woo! Right? There we go. So how cool is it to be able to go down there and fully focus on your dreams for, from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? All right? And then, right, get away. You don't have, you know, things pulling you aside like we have here. You get to go down there, prioritize, think about why you even started this, right? And then uh, pretty much get yourself back on track to go after your goals. The other thing is it's going to help you build belief in the company, the products, and the team. Uh, and I'll say this, belief is really the foundational piece to everything, right? If you don't believe in what you're doing, you're not going to take the actions. And if you don't take the actions, you're not going to get the results. And if you don't get the results, right, you're not going to get that, the, either the product benefits or the income, right, from the MPCP to get you closer to where you want to go. So always going back to, you know, selling yourself on these three things. And it's so great to do that because we have people coming in that really show you how awesome of an opportunity it is, right? Because let's be real, guys. We go out there. We talk to people. Not everybody sees the vision. Not everybody sees value in what we're doing. So it's really important to constantly have that in, in the front of our mind, right? The third thing is going to be relationships and camaraderie, right, amongst the team. So I'll say this, right? Being around the team is really where, you know, you get to form these ties with people, Right? You, get to, you get to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations. You get to grow together. You get to build together. You get to learn together. And it helps get everybody on the same wavelength, same page, so we can take a step forward to march towards right, our goals together as a single unit. Right? The fourth thing is going to be social proof. So it's really great because at these events, right, there, you're going to see people with tons of different backgrounds, anything from it could be a health professional, it could be a student, it could be someone who was retired and wanted to you know, do something else with their time. It could be somebody in the professional field. It could be somebody in the blue collar field. right? You hear tons of different backgrounds right, and learning from each and every person. Um, not only that, the recognition segments are, as well are so important. So when you see so many people doing something and getting positive results, it reinforces that you can do it, right? And you can make it happen, right? Four more reasons why you need to attend. Number five is going to be the information and the education, right? These are really powerful events. It's not like just a bunch of hype and rah-rah, right? There is some rah-rah for, for anyone that wants to get fired up, but really like, right? <laughs> There's some rah-rah. But at the end of the day, it's like you need a, a tactical game plan, right? And within our business, it's all about mastering the basic five. Attitude and knowledge, goals and a goal statement, retail, PRS, and basic five, inf or follow-up and ABC pattern, right? So all of those things you're going to learn. And what you do is you want to take key nuggets from each speaker that we're able to bring in. And I'll go into some people that we have coming in. Number six is to recharge your batteries, right? Some people know what I'm talking about, right? Where it's like, you, you, get, you get started and you're passionate about it, but just like anything, you need, to get that, you need to get that enthusiasm back inside of you, right? So that way, what you do is you sprint for 30 days from now, right, till Steve Harris coming up, which is the 14th, right? And then another 30 days after that and another 30 days after that. The best way I can describe it is picture, right, these events as like a fire, right, a bonfire. And think of yourself as a coal, right? You put that coal in the fire, right? And you take it out. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. And then what happens is it starts to slowly get cold. So you got to throw it back in the fire, right? Which is why we keep going to events, all right? Uh, number seven is defining moments, right? You're going to hear some type of story, some type of inspiration, right? That is going to really like, Brett always talked about it, move the business from your mind into your heart. 
And when that happens, everything becomes so much easier because then you're leading with passion and serving other people. It's not about your own goals, right? So defining moments, number eight, that's where leaders are born. That's really what we're in the business of doing is JR talks about it, keeping people in the business long enough until that switch goes off, that billionth of a volt where they decide, hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this happen either way, right? And that only happens at events. If you go back to any top earner, Right? They always talk about it was at a major event where a decision was made, right? Number nine, a decision was made where they said, I'm going to tear this up no matter what obstacles I have to overcome, right? So these are nine reasons, right? If you want a picture, right, go, go, go back real quick. Get away from distractions, build belief, relationships, social proof, information, recharging your batteries, defining moments, leaders being born, and decisions being made. Now, what, five reasons why getting your team to these events is critical as well. Number one, it will do for you what you cannot do for your team. What do I mean by that? You can, you can introduce somebody to the business, you could say all the right things, but for some reason they won't listen to you. I don't know if anyone's had that happen, it's happened to me a few times, right? However, you bring them out to an event, the speaker says literally the same exact thing that you say, but for some reason they listen to the speaker. <laughs> The people that are laughing know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so that's why you need to get people to the events, right? Um, there's only so much that you can do within your center of influence, right, towards others. So having these third-party speakers come in um, to promote the right material. Number two is it's going to help you create exponential growth. Rich always talks about it, right? Having 1% of 100 people's efforts. Well, in this business, so you get 100% of 100 people's efforts. And what can you do to train everybody is plug them all into the GMTSS events. If we had everybody in this room take 10 hours out of their day to get trained, I mean, do the math on that. We're talking thousands of hours of production, which you'd never be able to do just trading time for money, right? Number three, this allows you to build outside of your hometown. So now that we have these Zoom calls going, right, it may not be the easiest to meet up with people all the time, but what they can do is fly in or drive long distance, right, to these bigger events where, you know, everybody from the, the Tri-State Plus area can plug into, right? Number four, this is going to create team pride. I think this is something we really are great at, right? Where, you know, we fight for one another, we celebrate other people's success, right? And it lets people know that they're a part of something bigger than just themselves. And number five, it helps people to make serious commitments. So if you, if you want people to have a higher level of buy-in, it all circles back to getting them to these major events, right? And what we want to do is work from the outside in of this bullseye concept. So I don't know if anyone has not seen this before, but this is a, a timeless piece right from the original that, that uh, JR and these guys came up with of really how this business works. On the outer ring, we have these one-on-ones, these two-on-ones, these Zoom calls, right? From there, we're moving people into these second looks, right? That could be the wellness one-on-one, that could be the, um, the HKOs, that could be the UBPs to these local events, right, which we have coming up on September 14th with Steve Harris, right? From there, we have a district which we're gonna be coming up, right? I'm gonna give you guys the details on that. And then after that, we're gonna have a regional event, right? So all the exposures that we're doing, right? All these Zooms, all these two-on-ones, all these UBPs is all to get people to these locals, to these districts, and to these regionals, right? That's how it works. It's a matter of increasing the level of education and exposure step by step by step. And this is a really way where you can blow your business up over these next 90 days is number one, right? Get to this event, September 14th. We have Steve Harris coming in from Boston, right? We've heard it before. This guy, a six-figure earner before he started in Market America. He used to sell exotic cars, right? Made great money, had no time built this business up to supervising coordinator, I believe in 18 months, building the business three nights a week, which is crazy, right, when you understand that. So he knows what he's doing, multi-million dollar club earner, personally sponsored by Elizabeth Weber, the top income earner of the company, right? Um, so set a goal, right? Make sure you're there and set a goal for how many people you want to get there. If it's just one right now with yourself, make it a goal to get two or three, or, you know, get that number to two or three. So that way you're creating leverage. Like make that your main focus over the next two weeks to get one to two people there with you, right? From that, right, at this event, this is very important, we build event to event. So I'm giving you guys, you know, this, 
this calendar notice so that way we can start you know allocating the funds everybody's up here selling products we got the booty challenge going right so there's going to be more there's going to be more more customers coming from that right so so you know be smart with these customer sales right when you retail products right or when you make commissions right don't go blow it on a gucci belt right buy it on, invest it into tickets right because we have gary rogers coming in october 12th october 12th right so for those of you guys that don't know gary rogers one of the most incredible stories in the company this guy used to own a gold's gym right used to own a gold's gym was making um about i think it was like 30 to forty thousand dollars a year right Loved what he did, but it got to a point where he was, um, you know, just working a ton. I mean, there every single day. Anytime something went wrong, he was there. He had all the headaches of traditional business. A friend showed him this business. He discarded it. And then what happened was he, um, he had his landlord, right, his commercial property landlord, doubled his rent overnight. So what that mean? It cut his in income in half. And that's why he decided to put this business in place. He's a director right now. He's from the Connecticut area. So he's going to be coming down to Bucks County, Langhorn, or uh, where is it Langhorn? Yeah, Langhorn, right? And uh, this is going to be a district. So what that means is there's actually going to be combined of three different local areas all into one big ass Saturday event, right? And uh, what they're going to have is a special at local. There's going to be three tickets for $100. Right? If you don't go for the special, pair up with other people, they're going to be $50 by themselves. So definitely start coordinating now. Like I said, we have Steve Harris. We're going to build into this, right? which is then a stepping stone to the, to the Q3 finale. Right? A Q4, I'm sorry. So we have Rhode Island, right? Northeast Regional Convention. And I'll say this, guys, like, yo, the Northeast they are on their game when it comes to building the business, right? We're talking the most success in the company. Why? Because you have not only Team Flushadelphia, right? You have Team Flushing. You have Elizabeth Weber and her empire that she created all up in Boston, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maine, Massachusetts, right? All, all of these states coming together for a 4,000 person event. And we have Mark Ashley coming into the area. He's the C COO and president of the company. First time I'm ever seeing this guy at a regional, right? Um, and these tickets are 75 bucks. So basically what we're going to be doing is preparing from now till November 23rd to get as many people possible to this event. And we're doing this in a sequential order. So Steve Harris at this event, they're going to be selling tickets for Gary Rogers as well as Mark Ashley. So figure everything out, you know, in terms of set up some game plans. We could put some product parties in place, right? And uh, this is the quarter to really blow this up, guys. I mean, summer's over. Right, everybody's having fun this weekend, and then guess what? We're we're back into it, right? This is grind time, right? It's the fall is always the best time to build the business, and uh, I'll say this, right? If you build the business really hard from now until this event, Thanksgiving the next week, your bank account will be as full as your stomach when you're having that turkey. So, that's my part, and uh, we'll bring Kevin up.